All right, today is Workout Wednesday, and we wanted to focus now on hunters. We are now in the midst of hunting season, and believe it or not, the biggest danger that some hunters face isn't getting hit by a stray bullet or falling out of a tree stand. It's having a heart attack. Here to tell us why is personal trainer Todd Dowdy. Great Hi. to see you. Good to see you. My husband is a big, avid hunter, yeah. and we talk about this a yeah. lot. Because, yeah. um, you know, believe it or not, we were talking about this in the office. Everybody's like, why? Do hunters have heart attacks? And yeah, there's right. several and reasons. Exactly, for that. and they're th three times more likely to have a heart attack than they are to get hit by a stray bullet. That's so. incredible. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's discuss some of the causes sure. that raise a heart attack mm -hmm. for a hunter. First up, the pre-hunt partying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to have some success, I would suggest getting some sleep the night before. <laughs> That's true because you know. you're gonna get up early. Uh, right, and you know. You know, if you drink too much, it might emit a little smell. You don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes along with like smoking and things like that. But, yeah. um, you know, get some rest and, you know, prepare what you're doing. You know, you got to get up early and, you know, it's just not going to do you any good. You right. know, if you want, if you're going to stay up late and just waste energy, you know, drink alcohol or, you know, just get a good night's sleep and prepare yourself for it. You yeah. have a lot more fun and it'll be probably more successful. Okay. Let's talk about the adrenaline rush because right. when that deer comes up, <laughs> your heart is pounding. Exactly. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people have a conception that hunters might be out of shape or beer, beer swilling, cigarette smoking. And, you know, some people do, you know, mm -hmm. that's their choice. But, you know, that actually heightens the risk. You know, when your blood pressure spikes, when you see that deer and your heart rate goes up, I mean, some hunters have stroked out and fallen out of the tree and gotten killed. Wow. I mean, that's, that's happened in yeah. the past. I mean, it's very important. I mean, if you want to be successful and if you want to be safe, you, know, you got to take care of yourself. Yeah. And, and if you know, you know, your heart rates are going to be going up, you, you need to take care of yourself. I mean, it's a physical thing. It's a sport just like any other thing. And you got to yes. physically prepare for it. Right. Also dragging the deer out. Exactly. Like I said, it's a sport. Yes. And I mean, Bo Jackson, everybody remembers who Bo Jackson was yes. back in the eighties and nineties. And his idea of a workout was going out and killing a deer, mm -hmm. putting it over his shoulder and walking <laughs> out of the woods. So, yeah. I mean, he was the, you want to work hunter. out. There you go. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, I mean, he didn't train with weights. That's how he worked out wow. was hunting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so. All right. Let's talk a little bit about is your body ready for the stresses of hunting? Right. So to determine that you would get a stress Absolutely. test, Absolutely. Right? Uh, call your, call your uh, doctor, get a stress test, you know, find out what, you know, if, if you are ready for the stresses of hunting, because I mean, you got to walk out there, you know, you're mm -hmm. going to be sitting there for a while. If you're, if you're you walking around looking for that, sometimes abs into absolutely. a stand. Um, mm -hmm. dragging things. I mean, it's not as easy as, you know, just walking out there and just, Hey, there's a deer and shooting. I mean, you actually have to put some physical effort into it. Yeah. So, you know, the more physically prepared you are and, and a stress test will absolutely help identify dangers and potential warning signs mm -hmm. that could pop up. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the signs of a heart attack right. or heart trouble. And, and that's the thing people, you know, I, I advocate for everybody to take a CPR class. I mm -hmm. mean, it's well worth it. It could save somebody's life one day. It's, and, and it's, it's absolutely worth it. Everybody should know CPR. Okay. Um, and also don't go hunting alone. I mean, because if something does happen, signs of a heart attack, you know, I mean, dizziness, fainting, nausea. I mean, if you faint and you're alone, yeah. I mean, there's no help. I mean, there's no help. I, I mean, it's, and you're out in the woods. I mean, my husband hunts alone. It's, that might, scares maybe me. Maybe you should start hunting with him. <laughs> <laughs> he would love that for sure. Right. He'd love all of us to be out there, the kids too. Um, so if they are hunting alone, it's good for maybe the family member to know Absolutely. where they are. Let, 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 let family or friends know where you're going to be, mm -hmm. expectations about when you're going to be there, when you should be back. Yeah. Um, con you know, emergency contact information, have a cell phone with you, have a way that you can get in touch with someone or somebody can get in touch with you yeah. if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's great advice. And we posted a article on our Facebook page, so you can go and check that out. But also contact Todd if you have any questions, breedapartathletics at gmail.com. And you can also text him lifestyle change to his number on the screen, 204-7745.